and you tell me, are you a coward? Are you blind? Don't you have any common sense? <laughs> Hi, hello, salam. Welcome back to another video. Where do I start? I was going to make this last video in the month of Ramadan to say how blissful the month has been, as always, and uh, pray for all of you guys that all your prayers were answered, and um, I hope you all had a very good Ramadan. However, in the last couple of days, a lot has been happening, which has not got the coverage by the mainstream media, which isn't a surprise, to be honest. I'm literally crying in anger and in frustration because there's nothing I can do apart from making dua for those that are suffering oppression in their own land by the Nazis. You've heard it correct? I am calling them Nazis. These Zionists that are attacking worshippers while they are praying with rubber bullets and with gas canisters or uh, what do you call it? Shock bombs or whatever you call it. I don't even know the full term, but whatever it is, these Zionists, these oppressors are attacking innocent people while they are praying in a place of worship in Al-Aqsa Mosque in Palestine. Now, do you know about that? I bet most of you don't even know about that. But let me ask you a question. Do most of you know what Palestine is? Do you even know Palestine is a country? Answer this question for me. What would you do if someone was to barge into your house at two o'clock at night? Would you sit there and let them and allow them to take over your possessions? Or would you make a scene? That's correct, you'll make a scene, right? You'll call the police, you'll call for help, you'll call your family members, you'll call your friends to come and aid you. You will defend your property, whether it's a house that you've bought or whether it's a house that you are renting from the council. There is no difference, you will protect it. Then what do you expect the Palestinians to do when their land is trying to be taken over by settlers, by these Nazis? Never ever thought I'll ever use that word against anybody. History tells us what the German Nazis did to the Jews and they fled. And where did they end up? Where did they get aid? In Palestine. There was no Israel. Go and check it out. Go and look at the history books. There was no Israel. Palestine put their hands out to help them and look where it's got them. Their own land is trying to be taken over by these Zionist evil mugs. I can't tell you through this camera right now how much anger I have when I'm seeing these things, especially during the month of Ramadan, where it's meant to be the most blissful month, where we, the worshippers, ask for forgiveness, ask for glad tidings. We pray for the whole humanity. But these Palestinians aren't treated as humans, they're treated as animals in their own country. 27th night of Ramadan is considered as one of the most holiest nights. During that night, Night, they were attacked by these Nazi Zionists while they were standing in congregation praying inside Al-Aqsa Mosque. Did you know about that? No, you didn't because you guys will sit there and get brain fed by all of these Western so-called media outlets and you will take it all in. You guys will raise your voices when a petty thing like congestion charge goes up. That's right, you raised your voice, didn't you? You are one of them, weren't you? They made a big hoo-ha about it. But is congestion charge killing anybody? Is congestion charge invading your house? Well let me tell you friends, these innocent Palestinian people are getting killed while they are praying and everyone around the world is silent. Why? I raised my fist when it came to Black Lives Matter. I raised my voice when Australia was burning, when America was burning. I raised my voice when there's police brutality against any race, colour, culture, religion. I stand up for humanity. But do you? Do you even care? I bet you don't even care. Because you know why you don't care? Because it's not happening to you. If it was to happen to you or any of your friends or your family, then there would have been a big scene, right? Or imagine this, the UK was getting taken over by settlers. Ah, but I know what you're gonna ask me now. Aren't the Muslims taking over the UK? Nah mate, you can have your country. Our parents came to this country to make it a better life for us. And Alhamdulillah, I can't complain. I'm in a better place. That doesn't mean and I sit and I sleep while innocent lives are being taken by the oppressors. Those are who you call terrorists. Those are people that need to be arrested, investigated. But would the world say anything? No. Would our Western leaders raise their voice against it? Maybe once in parliament, but that's it. They won't do anything. Yet, do you remember when our government told us that apparently there was a weapon of mass destruction in Iraq, so let's go and invade it. Did they ever find anything? No then you tell me, are you a guinea pig? That you believe in everything that they feed you? Or don't you have any common sense remaining? Don't you have any love left for humanity? Forget religion, forget race, forget the language, humanity. Have you got no love left for humans anymore? Is this what the world is coming to? That we don't care. Someone's getting stabbed on the road. The first thing we do is pull out our phones. Let's record this moment rather than helping 
aiding, stopping. Is that what he's come to? Now you guys might be thinking, oh, what are you doing, Raz? Using YouTube as a platform to get some views. But let me tell you something. I haven't got a thousand followers. I haven't got a million followers. I've got just over 70 followers. And if I can get one of those 70 followers to see what's really going on in Palestine and raise their voice, even by putting something up on their status to say, we're with you, Palestine. We're in support of you. We're praying for you. That's all I want, to raise awareness. Platform doesn't mean anything for me. I'll probably get a strike on this channel for, for making this video. I'll probably get my account cancelled because of that. Who knows? But who cares? Because I don't. The 70 people that are maybe watching this or maybe more people get to watch this video, all I want to say to you guys is open your eyes, man. Open your eyes and look around what's going on. And actually understand the meaning of what oppression means. Understand the meaning of what terrorism means. And who is terrorizing who? In the month of Ramadan, my brothers and sisters in Palestine who are standing in worship being attacked. Check some of these videos out and you tell me. <laughs> tell me what you think they're attacking worshippers in a place of worship in a mosque they are burning buildings trees when people are going out to pray they are bombing children but hey hold on you might say to me oh by the way Raz Palestine they sent out a bomb as well didn't they are you dumb are you dumb to even ask that question look at the artillery look at the weapons look at the number of soldiers that these Nazis walk around with and compare it to the handful of people that are defending. I hope you understand what defending means. If you don't, then please ask Siri on your phone to give you a definition of what defending means. Thousands and thousands of people in Palestine are being killed over what? And the world stays quiet. You got social media platform like Instagram that hides the hashtag because it's against the rules. How stupid is that? They want to stop this message. Please use your common sense. Please use some of that. Time to be brave, guys. I'm not telling you to go out there and fight people. No, that's not my message. My message is just to open your eyes to actually show you a little bit of what's going on so you understand clearly. I mean, look at this video here. A couple of hundred yards away from Al-Aqsa Mosque, something's burning in the background and you see the Zionists celebrate like they've won the World Cup. <laughs> Does the Western media show you that? Never. 
All I want to ask you guys to do is raise your voice, stand up and support, stand up for your humanity and raise the concern. We should all stand up and say enough is enough. We need to stop this Zionist evil mugs from continuing doing what they are doing. They have been doing this for years guys. They are being shot at. They are getting smoke grenade and shot grenade thrown at them in the place of worship. Now you tell me, put your hands in your heart and you tell me, is that right? Now you tell me, are you a coward? Are you blind? Can you not see? If you do have any common sense, then stand up and share this message. Let the world know that we are standing behind Palestine and something needs to happen. Before I end this video, all I want to do is make dua because that is the least that we all can do for the people of Palestine, for the worshippers in Al-Aqsa Mosque, for the families that are being thrown out of their own house. I mean, check this video out. Yaakov, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Yeah. But you you're, It's you're... easy to yell at me, but I didn't do this. Yeah, you are helping. stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No, no one, no one uh, 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 is allowed to steal it. Yeah. The bottles, the guts to turn around and say, if I don't steal your home from you, someone else will. So let me just do it now. I'll go back to the first point I made in this video. If someone was to enter your house at 2 a.m. in the morning, what would you do? Let me say this before I go. With strong belief and iman, I say this. With utmost belief in my Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no way they will take over Al-Aqsa Mosque. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps the people of Palestine safe and give them freedom. Please support them or at least make prayer for them. Share to the world what's going on. Don't turn a blind eye on this. Till next time, stay safe, stay blessed. Keep Palestine in your prayers. Peace. Let's do the Lord's fire, let's